um, just just with that then, this I mean, this is this is meant to be Google versus Facebook. Not that there is ever a right answer, but we've got to make it into a bit of a battle, right? And this is why <laughs> I love <laughs> this is why I love Facebook because Facebook as a whole, I think there is so much more opportunity as a whole, audience size wise on Facebook. It might not be the best platform to you, for you to start on as a business. But with search, you're constantly limited to the amount of people searching. You're not in control. You can't just reach the whole of the UK or South Africa or wherever you are, the US, within one go. You have to wait for people to search and then you can reach them. Whereas, of course, with Facebook, it's a totally different ball game. You can literally just create an ad and target everybody in the UK who likes yoga, for example. You don't have to wait for people to search for yoga retreats. So there is a lot more opportunity there to reach a bigger audience. However, you, you then got to work a bit harder of persuading them to buy, right? Yes, yeah. I mean, so that, that is true. And if we're talking about Google search specifically, like we mentioned, there are other channels, but let's just focus on Google search here. So like, I think one thing that Facebook does give you over search and a lot of the other channels as well, actually, is the granularity of the audiences that you can target because everybody's giving them so much personal information. Facebook knows almost everything about everybody on the, the platform. So when it comes to advertising, you can really advertise um, to a very granular or specific audience based on their demographics, their interests, their likes, um, whatever content they're interacting with through Facebook. So that is a, a really big plus on Facebook. Um, but something that we also need to consider is that once you start pushing your brand or products or services through Facebook, people are going to be obviously now starting to consider you as a brand, as a product, as a service. And then what are they going to do? They're going to go search. <laughs> so they're still going to want to find you somewhere. And if you aren't showing organically um, on the Google search platform, you want to make sure that you're aware of this, first of all. And um, second of all, if you're not showing, make sure that you are showing. Um, you know, you might find that your competitors are showing, as you mentioned before, and then you're not showing and you're missing out on that opportunity. Um, but again, even though you might get a lot more opportunity and exposure through Facebook, there can be a lot lower quality of lead due to the intent of the user. Um, but yes, you can get a lot more granular with your audiences, so you might be reaching a more relevant audience, but they're not actually tr actively trying to buy something or get, sign up for something. Um, so it, there is a bit of a trade-off. Yeah, so two interesting points there. And the first one is, it is really interesting actually how, um, and we've seen this with the, with the client, haven't we, how after doing probably now almost a year's worth of activity on Facebook, from a Facebook advertising point of view, how, how that has affected the search volume for their brand and their products. So people now, uh, from that brand awareness, people actually now know about that brand a lot more. And their natural, their search volume has increased massively as a brand within a year, just from doing and starting off with Facebook advertising. Before, yeah. Google Ads would, worked a little bit, but there wasn't enough search volume, right, for them to be really scaling as a business. Um, so yeah. in that example, Facebook worked really well. Um,